Archmage, Vampire Hunter. I mean, Vampire Hunter is the most appropriate one for, for spooky season, so we gotta do this one. Oh god. Also, your start is such a, a shot in the dark as to whether or not you're going to get lucky and be able to pick up that second spell point before you get mobbed. He's going to intercept me. But then I have a choke point I can take advantage of. Well, we got to take Heavenly Blast. less devastating floor one. Elixir of Youth is nice for what we're doing. We want as many mana potions as possible, or Orb of Memories. Also, health is good. Dark Circle's pointless. I just have no interest in, in uh, MMOs. Like, I just don't. Giant Goblin, look at that. Chonker. 42 health! Ugh. Cowboy! How's it going? I have been in a new room for a couple weeks now. Some chalky boys in there. Green mushroom and bat. That's probably the safer place to go. Why was I going here? Just for the ruby heart. I mean, we gotta, we gotta make smart choices. 11 health, that's way more manageable for us. Woof. How many spell points before we can summon someone? Four? We need two to get Call Archon or Seraph. I think Archon is what we want to help us get started. Which of these has two spell point orbs closest together? All just very annoying. So frustrating. Again, just however many we can cram in a line. Oh, I'm out. Awesome. Don't let vampires get away. You know what? I'm gonna teleport early. Yeah, this challenge is incredibly about the start. Like, entirely about the start. You get a bad start, it's just not not possible to make it roll from there. Let's get a Seraph in there. Like, the early spell you pick, very limited choices, very high impact on how the rest of the run goes. Archon, of course, doesn't last very long. That's its main problem. There's a mana potion right there. Chase them down, please. I need... I need tools. Really? 
sure hope that Archon can reach and destroy. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Enchantment. We might be able to get something for enchantment. Mana Potion Ruby Heart. Mana Potion Portal Key. Groomy, you tried some Vampire Rinse Day? How'd they go? Alchemist Shrine. Whenever you use an item, gain one charge of this spell. Limit one shrine per spell. Dragonhorn, Mana Potion, Portal Disruptor. That one's looking very, very nice. That might be where we have to go. Ruby Heart, Energy Shield, Portal Key, Mana Potion. Ah, Ruby Hearts are nice, but... Nothing we can get for cheap in here. All right, we have one point. We're not gonna be able to do nothing here. I really just want that portal disruptor. But Dragonhorn is one of those, like, this can carry you for the rest. We're on Realm 15 before you stop to do something else. It took a while to get past Realm 5. Yeah, getting a good start is the hardest part about this challenge. By far. Dragonhorn, make this a free floor for me. Just let them do all the work. Good work. Thank you, dragons. Like, I could have saved this for a later floor, but... It's all about getting past the first, like, five or six floors. Don't let that vampire reach me. Don't- don't let him get over here! Dragon, save me! Good work, team. Okay, good lord. Portal Disruptor, Mana Potion, Ruby Heart. Another Dragon Horn, and a Lightning Shrine. I guess I'll put this on my Call Archon? Every time we use an item, we get an additional Call Archon cast. I mean, for now, right? Anyway, another Dragon Horn means another free floor. Which is very appealing to me. Take a step forward, blow the horn. Duck and fucking cover, just let the dragons do all the work. We're actually losing dragons rapidly. They are not the best dragons for this floor. Oh no. Archon, protect daddy. It wasn't a rage quit, it was a perfectly rational quit. Totally under control quit. Ah, uh, 21 health. Nice double hits.
Archon, please shoot that one vampire bat. Fine, I'll get it. Jesus. Archon, right there. I was wondering what that loud shit was outside. Look at my ring and a fire ladder truck rolls by. Why are there so many vampires? You're supposed to not let these things happen. It's so hard to not waste your fucking spell casts on this fucking goddamn thing. Okay, Archons. I have to drink another mana potion for this to be doable. This is why the first few floors are so hard. Archon. Gotta get those double hits in. I will stop vampire bats from getting away. No! How many turns? Seven turns. One, two, three. Fuck you! But our next, yeah, the next big Noida thing is a 33 orb run, where we beat the boss after collecting 33 orbs. Another dragon horn. Dragon horns, I still have faith in them. Unfortunately, none of these have mana potions, which is really kind of a problem. I really kind of need those mana potions. But if we can get some decent stuff and just let the dragon horn carry the rest of the floor, Andrew Sheard Stone Shields. I'd rather have those two shields. What's partially lightning here? Word of beauty, heaven's wrath, heavenly idol. All Archon is partially lightning, you say. Minion duration, instant choose. <coughs> Minion damage. Yes. Yes! Heavenly Blast, what can I increase for you? If I wait until I find a, a sorcery, I can get these for real cheap, though. Radius, range, max charges, we can get for one each. Let's save our points. Archon just got way better. Dragonhorn! Use the Dragonhorn! Thank God. Spell Archon, right here. I'm in the lightning. Ooh. All right, just let, let my dragon babies do the floor for me. These are the ones we wanted. They're strong, babies. Dragons that don't take shit from nobody. Good, 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 good. Oh boy. Alright. Dragons? Don't let any of those vampire bats become vampires, please. I don't trust it, Mighty Odin. I've gotten killed by lightning clouds that I've summoned before. Like, I made- I took the lightning cloud spell, cast it, and died in my own lightning cloud. 
So I don't trust my dragons to not hurt me with their lightning cloud. Lightning Storm is a really good spell, but like, it does hurt you. Really good area denial. All right. Can I get a sorcery circle? Can I get a sorcery circle? Can I get a sorcery circle? Fire or holy with when the spell deals damage, redeal half that damage to another random enemy in line of sight. That could be real nice for heavenly blast. Golden stopwatch, mana potion, mana healing, death dice, teleporter, enchantment circle. You turn blood into lava? Well, don't get hurt. Don't bleed anywhere. I mean, you got mana. I have one. I have one mana pot. I have one mana pot. That's not enough mana. We need a lot of mana. We need so many mana pots. Oh, the next floor. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm probably going here. Sorry, like mana is such a premium resource on the first few floors that it's very scary. Thankfully, our Archons last longer now. Deals damage, redeal half that damage to another random enemy in line of sight. So that means we could do chain damage. That's pretty nice. We have six spell points. So things we want, we want... We want Light Lord. We want Arch Conjurer. Those are gonna be real nice. Our Archons will stick around longer. We also want to get our blue lions and we want to give them holy bolts. Holy bolt makes them much better. I might take blue lion right now so we have more summons. All right, I think we, we might be out of the shit now. I mean, this is a holy spell. Having the blue lions redeal their damage might be real nice. Blue Lion, please. All right. Blue Lion. Archon. See that line of sight effect start kicking off, shall we? Archon, you want to, like, get in there, buddy? I don't need them to deal holy damage at the moment. I just need them to deal damage. And that does- it chains because of the shrine we just got. It didn't say holy damage, it just said applies to a holy spell. And if that spell does damage... You see? It triggered over here. That's all we need. What the fuck are you doing here? Archon? Blue Lion. Alright, see, so move out. Good looking, looking good, team. Let's go ahead and buff the ranks a little bit here. Good work. Oh, we got three vampire bats in the upper right, which means we have three vampires coming soon. Uh, I might as well just summon all of my blue lions. Like, I'm gonna have to use a mana potion soon anyway. Having a convenient army of blue lions is going to be better than not having an army of blue lions. And one emergency blue lion, just in case shit goes south.
Especially since those vampires are a little ornery. Okay. How much is the line upgrade? Three points or four points, I think? Holy Bolt is four points. I have two spell points right now. I could if I go to the top and all the way to the bottom. End of the floor, I could definitely get it. Blue lines! You know what I love about them is the fact that they make a horrible sound. Didn't you just see it at three? Holy bolt. Four. Ah! Guy was next to me. Oh, the ones I have on me? I have spell point two. There's three. There's four. We gotta finish the floor first. Unless I'm misunderstanding something. God damn it, a vampire killed a blue line. Oh, you might have been looking at shields, yeah. The blue lions give me shields. <clears throat> Come on, guys. There's like a thousand of these fucking skulls on the screen. <laughs> so hard to choose. start helping out. Is there another spawner? Ah, oh, there is. Oh, that's not the way I'm gonna get there. Good lord. Archon. Archon. Give them some support. Let's go, team! Move in! Uh, is there a route? There is a route, alright. Best story I have about Japan. Hmm. Let me think. Japan is tricky because it's just very pleasant. The stories are, you know... I had a good time. I got one, I guess. Hold on one second. Archon, you really cocktease me on that one. I thought you were gonna show up and finish the job on that spawner. The blue lions can wipe up. <gasps> Good night, queen. Sleep well. Oh, blue lions. Why do you make those noises? Angelic shrine enhances holy conjuration with plus seven minion duration, plus seven damage, plus seven minion health, plus one charge. Oh my god. That's incredible. That's perfect for Archon. That's insane for Archon. A sorcery circle would be nice too, though. But we gotta get that for Archon. That shrine is incredible. Yeah, yeah, like, that's insane for Archon. Unfortunately, we have one mana potion. <laughs> 
All right, we gotta take a holy bolt for blue line. If we could survive past this floor, we're looking pretty good. Where's the shrine? Perfect. Archon. Yes, replace the other one. The other one's trash. It's so bad. All right. Blue line. Blue line. Blue line. Blue line. Blue line. We save the Archon. For when our blue lines need support. Heck, I might not need to cast my Archon. I may have gotten too heavy on the blue lines. I forgot how good that upgrade is. Their Holy Bolt is kind of amazing. Whatever. If I need to keep myself safe... We can summon an Archon right next to me to protect me from bad things. Alright, so... <clears throat> we were going to a very nice little secluded part of Japan. And staying in a very nice area. And uh, the, the place we were staying, the hotel, they had a, a service where they would set you up for like nice little tours of historical locations. Uh, and one of those locations had a dress code. You had to wear proper, like, kimono, like, traditional Japanese ceremonial garb. And I didn't know this. Like, we we got in the little the shuttle, and we took a trip, and they brought us to this nice little shop run by just a very sweet old lady and her friend. Just two nice old ladies. And I'm standing there, and, like, an old lady just turns to me and is like, Okay, take off your clothes, and, like, just starts taking my clothes off. And, uh, I'm a very, like, anxious person. So, obviously, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, just freaked out a little bit. And it's like, no, you have to undress. We have to dress you. And I'm like, can I, can I dress me? Am I allowed to dress me? So I had to negotiate with this old lady to let me go into a separate room and, like, at least put on, like, the undergarments, you know? And then after I had those on, I came back out, and then they dressed me. But, very short story, but like, I freaked out. Was not ready for that. Really came out of left fields. Enhances nature, arcane conjuration with summon minions, gain a healing spell, and passive short range teleportation. Take off your clothes. Like, no! What are you doing? I'm not ready. I want a Ruby Heart and Mana Potions. Like, double Mana Potions is real nice. I really want that. That's what I want. There is a Swamp Queen. Ooh. Ooh, Troublers. There's, like, there's one safe place. Take your clothes off. It's like, I don't know you that well, old lady. Let's, let's get to know each other first. No. Get them off. Oh. No! All right, Archon's out there. I am honestly tempted to do Bag of Bugs, but let's just Mana Potion right now. Take Pot Shots of Troublers. My Archon got sent outside? Real shame that you have a limited lifespan there, Archon. Archon's back in business. Yes. And you gotta remember, this is like, wake up early, go, go to strange place. So I was like, sleepy. And like, when you're in Japan, you... You quickly get get trained to be hyper polite. So I didn't know how to react in this situation because how do you politely like freak out about someone trying to take your pants off? I had no training. I was very underprepared. 
But ultimately, it was a very nice time. Got to wear super fun fancy clothes. Fucking troublers. Pieces of garbage. I didn't mean the double Archon, I wanted blue line. Alright, we gotta save spell points up to get like Arch Conjurer and stuff like that. That's like our best bet. Yeah, the Troublers just teleport them to random locations, so they end up, like, outside the map. Which is funny. But not super useful. Hey, Archon next to me. You going somewhere? You got, like, a plan? There we go. Fuck off, Archon. And by Archon, I mean Troublers. Didn't mean to yell at you, Archon. It's not your fault. Pressing in behind these guys to heavenly blast four times. And here I thought you were good at this game. Hey, Troublers are named Troublers for a very good reason, alright? Troublers suck. They're huge assholes. Like, that is literally what they are. They're just bastards. They're designed to make you angry. Their attack randomly teleports you around. So you're like, you're trying to send in a wall of summons and they're just like, Oh yeah, I guess I'll just send them to random locations. Thank you. Yeah, all the Troublers are just super bastards. Must get to Troubler spawn gate. Must destroy. Archons are nice and sticky now. They're sticking around for a while. Used to be, you could barely have them uh, hang around. Okay, Troubler Gate's gone. I fully expect my blue lions can finish the job now. Two mana potions. An eye circle. Oh, what a weird one. Technically, we could take a couple of eye spells. Eye? No, that's enchantment. I was gonna say, that's impossible. No eye spells. Lovecraft's Untold Stories, a little disappointing, honestly. Like, a lot of the charm of the first game seems to be uh, stripped away. Orb. This is the one, double mana potion. Ice or Dark Spell with for each 70 damage dealt by this. We could take uh, Phoenix, Ice Phoenix. And then when I died, it sent me back to the very beginning instead of like a checkpoint like it should have. So that annoyed me a little bit too. I mean, it's still being made, so I don't, don't let that discourage you. I suggest taking a look at the demo to see what you think about it. What if I start right here? Right? Right? He feel, hear me out. And then immediately bag of bugs. And then duck out. Drink a mana potion. Oh, the night was good. It was quite good. Got a blue lion out there. 
Get two blue lines out there, in fact. And then an Archon. That's gonna be... Hunt the Night was good. Hunt the Night was very good. No complaints about Hunt the Night. Did it move it, or did it get destroyed? That's the question. I cannot tell. Is my Archon dead? No, my Archon's right in front of me. Both Blue Lions are alive. All my bugs are doing their buggy work. Right here. Coming my way, dog? Absolutely not. Destroyed. Good. Another blue lion out there. All right, another gate down. I want to move over this way and get double hits on those gates. Bag of bags is helping out, which is what I was hoping for. There we go. I got what? One more frog gate, two more Gosha gates. And all the vampires are coming back down. I can see them over there. Archon, blue line. Alright. At this point, I'm, I'm thinking it's just finished doing my summons. We're gonna have to use a mana potion soon anyway. Might as well just have all of our spells exhausted. Who needs more support? I'm kind of spread out here. Got one Archon there. Spawners are all down. I think we're basically fine. Maybe I'll save two Archon casts, drink a mana push on the start of the next floor. Yeah, we're good. This is looking pretty settled by now. Oh, that was a very nice thing to find. A very good shrine for our Archons. Alright. What's this do again? Ice or dark. For each 70 damage dealt by the spell or minion summons, summon a death chill chimera near a unit it dealt damage to. I mean... What kind of dark do we have? Suspend mortality, soul tax, twilight gaze. Not very good stuff. Ice. Just Ice Phoenix. Cost five. It'd be a nice one. No, Blue Lions are very good. I, I a million percent agree with you. Let's consider our next locations, though. Portal Disruptor, Teleporter, Teleporter Key. Bag of Spikes. I like Bag of Spikes. Mana Potion, Portal Disruptor, Death Dice. We're going there. This is where we're going next. question is, is it worth it to do it for the Phoenix? After this, I feel like we just have to focus on skills. I'd really like to take skills now. But this is a pretty nice one. It gets additional summons. More minions is good. <coughs> Rock with freezing charge looks weird. It's a nice combination, though. Let's think. Does the explosion, which deals damage and does shielding for other minions. 
increases the odds that it's going to proc the summon of the Ice Chimera. And Chimeras are pretty beefy boys. I'm gonna do it. I get the Ice Phoenix. We're gonna upgrade the Ice Phoenix. We're gonna go here. And now after this, it's entirely skills. I wanna get skills. We're gonna open on this floor just by dumping both Archons and the Phoenix. And then drinking a Mana Potion. So we're gonna find a safe place. Ooh, a safe place near two spawners? That's nice. Heck, I could even spawn right here. Archon. Archon. Phoenix. Mana Potion. Keep my bird baby safe. Duck out. Oh, they blocked. They respawned. Can you guys not hurt these things? Resist lightning. Lightning damage. Oh boy. Just my favorite goddamn thing in the world. Blue line! Blue line! Holy damage! Oh, there goes the Phoenix again. Didn't realize I was gonna have to provide so much support! Another blue line. I got two mana potions. This is another double mana potion floor, right? I can't remember why I came here. There's at least one mana potion, right? One right there. Alright. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna run out of blasts here. My parents keep buying water bottles, but it seems to be... I seem to be the only one in the house who ends up using them. Water bottles are great. another ice phoenix out there. Archons are less good because there's a lot of lightning resist here. Archon out of my way. Just give me shields. You could do that much. Oh, I should make my way toward the spawner. I can't reach the spawner this way, of course. I could summon a blue lion all the way up there and hope that it knows what to do. Be a smart blue lion. There you go, yeah, go that way. College educated blue lion over here. Good work. Don't know what my phoenix is doing. Do that ice damage. I want to see a Chimera. There's one, we got one. Death Chill Chimera. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice boy. No regrets on this now. Rampage, my babies! Rampage! Quite the journey around. Seven spell points, you know what that means. Arch Conjurer, give me those charges. Two max charges. More minion damage, more minion health, more duration, more range. Yes, please. Arch Conjurer. Although, before I take it, is there a nature shrine? A holy circle? Son of a bitch! Literally every spell is a holy spell. We can get so many cheap upgrades here. Damn it! Upgrades are good! Oh man! 
Light Lord would also be nice. Increased duration. It gives me more duration, but like, I really want those extra charges and stuff. We want both. Both are good. But a Holy Circle is too good an opportunity to pass up, really. Oh, it's in a safe place. Oh my god. So many cheap upgrades now. Heavenly Bless. What's that? I can increase my charges. I can increase my radius. I can increase my range. Archons. I can increase your. Oh, your duration damage already done. Range is not that important for Archon. Blue Lion. Manion damage. Easy choice. Ice Phoenix. Minion damage. Back to Blue Lion. Shield cooldown. Shield cooldown's good, but I think I want max reincarnations to go up here. Oh. Now I'm I'm done with upgrades now. That was just a worthwhile trip just to get a bunch of upgrades. Now it's all skills. There's like one more upgrade for Blue Lion I might want, and that's about it. Ice Phoenix is good, especially with more reincarnations like we just gave it. Flood the field with Archons! There's just vampires for realsies here, huh? Alright, mana potion. It's a rough starting place we're in, but magic. A lot of archons. Phoenix! Go! Now it has all those reincarnations. Alright, one more blue lion right here. I'll get out of you guys' ways. You're gonna do this all on your own. Phoenix already made me a Chimera. Chimera splits into multiple types of creatures when it dies. So sticky, so good. What's the duration for Archon now? 35 turns. When we get some of these nice skill upgrades that increase uh, duration more, Archon's gonna be basically a permanent feature. Oh, look at Phoenix go! Yeah! I'm gonna go with the ones that give me more charges first, because charges are a little bit more, uh... immediately useful, but... Oops, that was the wrong button. Get an Archon, blue line. Where is my Phoenix right now? It died, but it should have come back. It didn't die again, did it? Oh, I just saw it die again. Which means it should come back soon. It has several, several respawns. Who even cares? I got my Chimeras. They're out there wrecking up shop. Advance! Blue Lions, advance! Oh, yep, there he is. Good eyes, Mona. Alright, he popped again. And he's back, right behind me. Got another Archon out there. Yeah, those extra reincarnations are pretty nice. God, this map is rough. It's entirely choke points. It's real directional where we can and cannot go. Uh, 
I can't quite get in line of sight. There we go, now I can help a little bit more. Chris remembers his quadrants. You gotta remember your quadrants. What are you doing if you're not remembering your quadrants? Let's get an Archon out there. Oh, I love these! Yeah, there we go! Push in! Let the snake in. Might as well grab that while I'm passing it. There's like two pathways enemies can take. I think we might be okay by now. Yep, this is in the bag. I would love a nature circle now. Giving our minions resistance and re uh, regeneration would be the next big thing. As well as getting, like, Conjurer Lord, Light Lord. Heck, even Nature Lord. What killed me last run? <sighs> I had an enemy near me that I, I realized couldn't kill me, but I didn't realize that there was another enemy that had line of sight, and their damage combined could. I could have just drank a potion, I would have been fine. But I mistakenly thought I could tank one turn of damage without having to use a potion. I got a little bit too, like, gotta save resources driven. Conjuration Circle would be nice. Bad Potion, two healing potions, Chaos Bells. Ooh, I do like Chaos Bells. And a Ruby Heart's also very good. Bad Potion, Oculus. Not good enough. So bottom left is looking very nice. Conjuration Circle's fine. Chaos Bell, Mana Potion. I mean, if we're going to one of them, this one has a Chaos Bell, two heals, a Mana, a Portal Key, a Teleporter. That one just has an Energy Shield. I could roll in and cast Bag of Spikes immediately. Let them do most of the work on the floor. 